Welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth. Fire Weaver in the uh, other on the other side of the planet. Bartmos here, and yeah, let's get right back into it. Indeed, uh, we just finished terraforming last episode, so I think we should take Discuss a look at yeah. yeah yeah research. Well, you were going on about wanting <laughs> some ballistic missiles, or which something. is now down to twenty-two. Um, chemistry, ballistics, engineering. Um, all those those small ones. Um, so which one did you want in particular? Uh, I want ballistics uh, because of the rocket battery. Okay, well that'll be a fairly fast one. We can catch up on these old techs now. Yeah. Um, Chemistry, engineering, just you know to be able to get the resources as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that sort of thing. I think I should be our, our plan. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the Terrascape, I'm actually very happy about that, uh, kind of, because, I, yes, it costs six maintenance, but it's great tile improvement. And if I can put one down on each of my cities, uh, I can actually afford that. Discovered terraforming. That would be actually very nice. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to hit next turn. Yes, I could have attacked an alien on this, but I don't want to piss them off right now. Right now we're at peace. Um, I'm fairly yeah. happy with that. Keeping peace is, is fine for now. I got uh, a forgotten ruin, uh, a, not a, for a progenitor ruin, and a crashed satellite. Aha, uh -huh. good. That might mean you can pick up one of those quests, I think. I, it said it is failed, so I don't know if that will uh, work again. I'm going to go with the ruins first. Oh, uh, I just moved an explorer right next to a worm. Do oh, I want well. plus one health or plus one science from Pharma Labs? Now, in the original version, this was a no-brainer because health is so hard to get by. I don't know if that changed, though. I don't know. I'm still finding it health hard to get yeah. by, but, you know. Yeah, plus, if, if you do slip uh, into unhealthy territory, uh, that's a much worse thing than uh, lacking a few points of science. So, yeah, um, health it is. And, yeah. Oh no. Uh, uh oh. What's up? Take a look at my um my worker unit and see what is just north of it. Uh you've got Yes. Combat rovers. Yes. Well, they're on half health. You you know, they could be in a worse situation. I'm I'm hoping this just means they are exterminating aliens for me. Yeah, I imagine so with them being a half. I'm health. hoping, <laughs> uh, but they're still blocking my path, which is okay. I have a, a road to build back here. Um, but this reminds me that I don't really have any sort of military, and if this guy is now, um, you know, building combat units and sending them my way, I should probably do something. Yeah, I've been building a little bit of military here and there. I've got a couple of rangers around. I've got a soldier around. I do need to build more. Definitely. Definitely, but I'll get to that. Okay. Hey, another trade my, convoy. My trade route to Koyogen is now up to six science and three culture. Which is good. And I... I and I guess, like, if I... Uh, the problem is I w uh, want to send off another convoy here. And if I trade with Mandira, I end up giving them science and energy. I get free energy in return, but they get an energy back. Mm. So that's a um, bit annoying. Why don't you trade with Farbase 1? I already am. This okay. is my second convoy. Uh, trade with yourself. Yeah, I might do for the food and production. Yeah, I'll do that. It's better than giving the enemy... It's only one science, but it's... Yeah. Even so, you're probably right. Oh, uh, it depends, really. I mean... Oh no, the worm is back. Or a worm is back. Speaking of military, am I going to carry on with more rangers, I guess? I think so. Although another worker would be good. 
Yeah, it's difficult to decide. Oh, maybe I should get this launch complex going. Um, it's fairly expensive. In well, it's one maintenance. I don't really need the growth. Keeps telling me I'll build the Vivarian, but I don't really feel it that much. I think the launch complex might be better long term, and I should work towards a tech that we can launch satellites or something mm. soon. Didn't you also say that you were uh, no, no, you were strapped for energy, right? It was not health. Yes, yeah, energy. Yeah, so I got to be careful of, and health as well. I got I'm only at two health, and I got two cities expanding, but I should be looking towards get my third city soon. But <laughs> it's it's difficult right now. I don't have a lot of resources here that have been particularly good for me for the moment. Well, some of us are still working on the first, the, well, the second city, basically. Yeah. Well, except the enemy have got their um, second uh, cities, I, th um, I can say. Mm. Um, uh, Magan, whoever, uh, Samata, whoever they are, the ones near you, they've got a second city, one out to your uh, west that's expanded out. And it's quite big by the looks of things. And they look like they may even have three cities. Maga? No. Yeah, look. Pick out the the um the west of you. There's orange which goes oh, for yeah, miles. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they've got three cities. You're right. Yeah, I should. Well, it might also be. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So, yeah. hence why I'm thinking about my third city as well, because. Yeah. Oh well. I will beat them with moral superiority. <laughs> well, or or weapons, that works too. I have none. I'm I'm a peaceful people. Well, you shouldn't be with purity. Oh, we I should, should probably start hit next turn. Actually, we should uh, start militarizing aggressively. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking so. I'm a, a scouting around Freeland as well to see how many cities they've potentially got around here. Because um, hmm. they're a, a danger of expanding towards you and taking up some of this uh, float stone that you've not quite expanded to yet on your uh, yeah. east side. Well, once uh, once the city uh, Koyan is built... Uh, oh, the expedition is complete. Um, so remember... Powerful vision, granting a free level up in, in affinity. So I guess I want purity. Boom. Hey. Uh, it's not going to be an easy route round I, here. Sorry, I can't see. Hmm? Sorry, go on. Oh. Oh, never mind. It was just stuck because you. Okay. Uh, I got another affinity level, and I can improve gunners. Oh, nice. You're flying up the affinity levels. Um, plus 5 heal. Nope. Or plus 30% when defending against ranged. Both not really great, but I'm going to go with the defense, I think. Yes. Um, affinity. What? The hell? Uh, I think I can't. I found I, I found a bug. Yeah, you're calling bugs quite often in this. You sure? Yeah, but this one is a. I should not be at level four. Uh, uh purity now, because it said I get one level. It gave me three. Are you sure? You didn't have an uh, extra level. I've heard you. I've already heard you call out two levels. No, it, it, it was a pop-up and it wouldn't let me accept. I selected it, accept, it would close, but it would still be there. So I'm thinking maybe I accepted it multiple times. Maybe. Well, let's not complain. It's done I'm, in your favor. It's Well, it's not really anything I can change anyway. Um, but that's weird. So I am now at four, which means I get the three bonus of plus 20% strength and ranged strength. Ah. When attacking or defending against aliens. Hey. Yay. Um, 
which really helps, you know, with my very powerful military. Okay, the um, African Union units are sort of still blocking my path, uh, which is very unfortunate. Um, That's because they stopped there to heal after yeah, a, an alien I, attack. Oh, the worm is still there. I hope that is that and that they will go away. Okay, let's not do that because there is a worm. Wait, no, it said two tiles for the fence, right? So if I'm two tiles away from my city, uh, the worm should not attack me. Let's hope that is actually the case. They won't come to your city anyway. You've got fences up. You're fine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's a melee as well, the worm. Oh, it's taking So it has minutes. to enter your lands to be able to. Although I'm not sure if that's true if your outpost is, if that's true. Oh, you've got a city. No, there. because it doesn't have a fence yet. Yeah. Okay, the African Union is withdrawing and my city needs production. Oh, and everything takes forever, which means I want it takes the, forever to construct some money. The trade depot up first, yes. Um, and a second explorer here. And the convoy. Wait. Okay, I hope that was okay. Okay. Oh, my worker is taking damage from the miasma. Ah, uh, well, they were always doing taking damage from miasma for me, as well. It's it's just a, a case of, um, you know, keeping an eye on it. You can take quite a fair bit of damage from it, so yeah, don't wait too yeah, much. Yeah, but it's almost dead. Oh, I, I'll risk it. Uh, unfortunately, there is no progress bar. I think how far they are. Oh, I mean, well, you can always move them off and then move them back on again if you're in the middle of doing something. It will keep it going. It'll remember the progress? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's a lot of aliens. If that is the case... That must be a nest. Maybe. Oh, it'll be done in one turn. So. Yeah, I've just moved next to a nest. Yay. Oh. Very yay. It's right next to free land, so I thought it was fairly safe, but apparently not. Apparently free land aren't taking care of their alien problem. Oh, but the good news is we now, well, except for one <laughs> tile, we now know sort of the land between us. Yeah, that's kind of been my goal, is to see if we can connect us up, but yeah. I may have made a grave error. Oh well. Well, I could, if I'm sneaky about it, I could wipe the alien nest out with my explorer unless it spawns something in that square next turn. I think we should wait. Oh, I can, I can snag it. I'm going to lose that explorer anyway, but they've left their nest undefended. So I'm ah. taking it. Yes, definitely. I, I'm losing that, that guy anyway. It's pretty obvious. So... I will have pissed off the aliens now, by the way. Okay, my, my my colonists just barely survived. Uh, will it heal? F it will heal faster in the city, right? I think so. Colonists, you got another colonist on Not the, the go. Not the colonist, sorry, the the worker. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Um, so okay, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh. Can't even go there. So I'm gonna get some more military there. That'd be good. And I, my rangers are now gunners. And mm. let's give them. I've ever got um, hit points here when not embarked or defense against ranged. I will go for the defense. That'll be okay. Um, now I've pissed off the aliens I'm actually tempted to attack this alien up here and start clearing out although I'm going to have um, to protect my worker now that I've pissed off the aliens a little bit uh, just just one one 
bit of information. It's two turns until ballistics. Okay. Which means I, you I've can already... build the rocket batteries in your cities. Yeah, th but I can't start them now, and so. Oh. But I've already pissed off the aliens. So I've got to continue defending myself a little bit against them. So. Okay. I got to do that now. Um, let's uh, set up a range attack over here. Sure. So, we're going to have a little bit of a gripe with them. But I think it's worth it to take out the alien nest. And the marine can just uh, fortify and look after my worker. Okay. So, um. still, is the worker now healed or not? I'm going to leave that alone and take it out with this. Oh, I can't. Um, okay, it must be heels in the way. Yeah, that's a heel there. So, let's take this marine. Oh, my work is in trouble. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. No, it's not healed. Oh, well. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to the top of this hill. To protect against the aliens. Um, okay, this explorer. Is there any possibility that this explorer can run away? I'm thinking probably not. He's surrounded on pretty much every side. We'll try. Uh, this explorer is also in danger zone. Uh, he might be able to get through. I've got some people over there. Head back to my city. I think I'm going to start losing people here, but we'll see what we can manage. You have discovered ballistics. So I'm going to build um, What do I want to build? Huh. Farm. Okay, so I was building roads, but he's actually coming right up to an alien nest, uh, this worker. So of all things, that seems dumb to me. I'm going to bring him back and connect up this float stone, oh. and I'll finish the road later. I'm going to start building the Stellar Codex. Uh -huh. nine, nine turns. Uh, it's a wonder. Uh, plus three science, plus 10% production for orbital units. Orbital coverage around this city increases by four. Boom. Okay. Well, I think we should go missile rovers. And the reason why I say that is we already know that the people near you have... Uh, sorry, go computing. There's our next one. Um, the reason I'm going to choose that is um, we already know missile rovers are around. And that also un um, unlocks a spy agency, which means yeah. they have spies. So we need to protect. We need to and protect against it. So I'm yeah. going computing as our next choice, I believe. And the network will give a great science bonus. So yes, I'm in. Sounds good. So as I say, my biggest concern is. Um... Oh. Yeah. I'm... Okay. Next turn, I want to build some, uh, buy some territory up. Uh, near Kuyen, since it's now a city, I want to grab at least the uh, really close uh, natural resources, the geothermal, the algae. Oh, I don't really care about the algae, but the resin, I think. I don't know. Where is he? Oh, I think my explorer manages to escape the alien infestation over there. Oh, congratulations. No lawsuits for you. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. And they're actually heading towards you. This, uh, this the explorer or the aliens? The explorer. If I drag a few aliens <laughs> with me, I apologise. Sure, certainly bring them on, to. I see. You'll turn, you'll turn around, there's a big train of aliens behind me. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah, there's a coast here. Uh oh there's a worm heading towards my city. Uh, the orbit imminent. Oh no! My satellite. Let's move over here. Um, 
All right. I think I'm doing okay. That I can continue pushing my luck with against the aliens. And I'm going to see if I can push one of these alien nests down as well. Over here, that would be very useful. Oh, I do have a train of aliens behind me. I was joking, but it appears I literally do have a train of aliens. <laughs> okay. And they're heading directly towards you. Hope you're ready. Not really. <laughs> I have a nice road for them to sit on. All right, let's see if I can hook up the float stone here. That'd be good. Although I'm concerned about the worm. Veterans he gained. Um, so this is partly why I've been doing a lot of attacks is so that I could level up. Um, I can choose to instantly recover my health or I can just increase his strength, um, which I'm going to do. And then pull him back a little bit because uh, he's a little overextended. Um, I don't think I can fortify through the potential damage that's coming my way. So, mm, I forgot to buy the... Sorry, go on. That's all right. I was, that was pretty much me done explaining oh, that. I can still do it. That's cool. Let's grab a little of this territory here. Okay, that's that's good. So I'm trying to tell these aliens to keep off my land. Mm. Floatstone quarry time. Oh, yeah, we can build that. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's worth doing. So... Oh, a resource pod. Great. Uh, uh, near you, I believe. You yeah, should be able to I grab might, that. Yeah, I might still be able to grab that. Uh, African Union is west of me. But, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Magan was not African, was it? Oh, yeah, it is. So yeah, you're right. Magan has pretty much settled all the way to the south. It's like one continuous line. Uh, if you if you look at uh, pretty much west of my town, uh, they're improving the land there. So they do have at least three cities. Mm -hmm. uh, I think at this point I'm going to take that. Um, well, it's difficult. I don't really want to build the rocket battery. Um, it's not something that I particularly am up for forgetting, but I also know that in a few turns, uh, oh, you know what? No, I will. I'll make a rocket back battery. It's fine. I tend not to use those anti-orbital satellites, though. I find them a little bit micromanagey for my taste, but it's fine. Okay. My marine is in dire, dire straits, so hopefully he can move somewhere a little safer here. Um, let's move him back and fortify and see if I can protect his rear with this gunner. You do realise you have two siege worms? I do realise, yep, and it could be bad news bears over here but I'm I haven't even got an ultrasonic fence up yet that's gonna take 14 turns but maybe I can buy it um, should be I guess how do you buy the stuff I forget you click on the city and then in the upper right there is a tab change production and one purchase oh yep yeah, I see um, oh, it's that 460 so purchase it's fairly expensive Oh, it is too expensive. Okay. Yeah, what a shame. I'd have liked to have bought that, but yeah, it's too expensive. Okay, well, I just have to hope that I can survive against the worm attacks that are coming my way, which will be tricky. Well, thank you for reminding me that I definitely need to buy a you know, tip to build the fence next. What am I building? Oh, the trade depot. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to send marines down to help this alien attack, I think. Uh, I'm probably going to take out this nest on the way down, though. So that'll be my plan. Um, hook up my secondary lot of floatstone. There's a lot of phyrexite down there in the south. Yeah. Oh, we get to finish our turn. and Ah, just as it is getting interesting. That's the best time to finish up. 
There we go. I, I've uh, finished what I'm up to. So, when you're ready. Done? All right. So, uh, this was episode six of our Beyond Earth uh, series. I hope you enjoyed. As always, leave a comment, click the like button, share, or send it manually to your grandmother. And uh, let us know what you think about the series, the episodes, ourselves, or world peace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that covers it, right? Pretty much. <laughs> Farmers and Fireweaver, and we're saying goodbye until the day after tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya.